competing in the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest Regional Qualifier, where according to the press release, if you win, you qualify for the opportunity to be invited to next year's July 4th contest. There is no way I am going to win this contest. I have never eaten competitively at all. So it's really more about my fascination as a reporter with obscure sports like uh, timber sports or semi-pro football or lawnmower racing, which I've written about in the past. And among those sports, professional eating is really interesting to me. It really triggers bells of like, why would anybody do that to themselves? And I want to experience what that's like, what it does to your body firsthand. Two years ago, I covered a local hot dog eating contest and witnessed something that Major League Eating calls a reversal of fortune. You and I would probably call it vomiting. I am really, really hoping to avoid doing that on the stage tonight. So I just got to Smith Ballpark for the contest. Uh, I have been asking myself over and over again, like, why am I doing this? But I guess there's only one way to find out. Maybe, you know, maybe once I do it, I'll understand. It looks like the competition is stiff. A couple of the people I was sitting next to actually competed in the real contest at Coney Island, so should be fun. So I'm back in my car now, really getting hit with the meat sweats. I felt fine when I was on the field and now I'm just burning up. And the stomach ache is already setting in, so it should be a fun night ahead. I don't care how easy you might think it is to eat a pack of hot dogs, it is really, really, really hard to eat that many hot dogs. And I guess that that's probably somewhat obvious, but nevertheless, can confirm from experience, it is really, really hard. I went in here with the question of just why, and I think I came away with an answer. It's really like any other hobby. You know, these people travel all over the place. You know, they all know each other. It's all a community, and a lot of them really emphasize that community. And while I don't think it's a community for me, I don't think it's my place to judge others who are finding happiness and fulfillment in that community. Some competitive eaters train their jaws by uh, chewing five or more sticks of gum at one time. I'm not planning on uh, really training in any meaningful way, but I thought that was an easy way to try to experience some of the rigor that this sport requires. This gum is uh, not the best condition. It's what I have, and I don't think gum expires, so let's give it a try. Not very pleasant so far. Okay, so that's half. Mmm. Really see the jaw muscles going there. Five sticks is pretty doable. I mean, pretty obvious I've got 
a big wad of something there. But, you know, if this was what it takes to be a, a true competitive eater, really not that bad.